What's up guys and welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the afterburn effect, what it is and how it works and then I'm going to be going through a training program with you. And this video is the first of five. I'm going to be doing a short series, five episodes, um, of different training programs all based around what is called the afterburn effect which should um, increase your fat burning level by quite a lot. So basically what the afterburn effect is a lot of people complicate it, but really it is quite simple. Basically what it is, it's the amount of calories you actually burn after your workout. So the amount of calories that your body burns repairing itself, repairing the muscle damage, um, getting your body back to the level where it was before you killed yourself in a workout, basically. So the sort of workouts that you do to get the afterburn effect are these really high intensity workouts. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's get started on today's one. It's gonna be a lower body, so leg workout. I'll show you how it's done. In the description, all the workout, all the information you're gonna need is gonna be in there. So you can take it away and do it yourself. Good luck, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, and welcome. Just before we get started, I just wanna say, I've designed this program so it can easily be adapted. So no matter what your ability, you're gonna be able to participate. Um, I would suggest doing the program as it is, and then it'll give you an idea of whether it's too hard, too easy, and then you can start making adjustments to the program to what suits you. Um, I would recommend, um, obviously, if it's too easy, then increase your weight or uh, your rep ranges. If it's too hard, then you want to lower your weight and increase your rest periods. Throughout the video, I've used a kettlebell for all of the exercises. Um, it worked really well for me. Um, obviously, I've done this in my own home. So if you're going to be doing this program in your own home, then anything that you've got at home, like a kettlebell, you could use a barbell. It might get in the way a little bit um, because it's quite fast paced training. So you're jumping from exercise to exercise um, but that sort of thing if you've got any sort of like weighted sack um, various different um, equipment that you can use but um, kettlebell is probably the best one and that's what I would recommend so once the video starts I'm not actually going to be going through the whole program with you otherwise this video would just go on and on and on so basically I'm just going to show you the exercises and I'm gonna tell you the program. Like I have already said, the program is gonna be in the description so you can copy and paste and print out or download it onto your phone, whatever you wish to do, so you can take it away and do the program on your own. One little last thing before we get started. Um, I'm going straight into the program. I haven't given a warm up, so I'd recommend you do some sort of warm up. If you are doing the program at home, just whip up and down the stairs a few times just to increase your heart rate a little bit. That'll be fine. Um, if you're at the gym or out and about, just some a little bit of jogging and a little bit of stretching, something like that, that would be perfect. Okay, so straight into the program. The first exercise we have got here is body weight squats and we are going for 10 reps. Once you've completed your 10 reps of body weight squats, you're going to take a 10 second rest and then we're going straight into uh, weighted squats with shoulder press. So I'm calling it kettlebell squat with shoulder press because I use the kettlebell. So we've got 20 reps of those. After you've done your weighted squats, you've then got a 20 second rest, and then we're going straight into 30 body weight squats. So same as before, but we've upped our rep range. And now we have a 30 second rest, so we've slightly increased our rest period as well. So after our 30 second rest, we've now got 20 kettlebell squats with shoulder press again. Once you've completed those, you've then got a 30 second rest. Okay, next segment, we've now got 20 reps straight leg deadlift. 
once you've done those 20 second rest. Thirty squat jumps. followed by 30 burpees, 10 second rest, 20 burpees, 10 second rest, 10 burpees, Five minute walking lunges, just body weight. Once you've done those, you've got a one minute rest. Okay, 15 seconds sprint on the spot as fast as you can. Once you've done that, straight into side to side shuttle runs for 30 seconds. Ten seconds rest, 15 seconds sprinting on the spot as fast as you can, straight into side to side shuttle runs, 30 seconds. Okay, so after the last set of shuttle runs, you're going for no rest period, straight into the next few exercises. We've got 30 reps of straight legged deadlift, 10 second rest, 30 reps, straight leg deadlift. Fifty calf raises, ten second rest, fifty calf raises. And then we're ending on a two minute plank. Thank you for watching the video. I know I've gone through everything really quickly, but I've been trying to make this video as short as possible. The continuing episodes won't be as long as this because we won't have the big introduction at the start. Um, if you like the look of the workout, then head down into the description box below where you can find the workout and you can take it away and do it yourself. And you can always refer back to the video to see all the exercises and how they're performed. Please. Please press like, hit the subscribe button and stay around for the next four episodes. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget the workout in the description below. Take it away. Train like a beast. Yeah. This particular product comes from a company called Forever Living. I just want to tell you why this product is so special and unique. Basically what Forever have done is